So I wanna show you this really cool relationship with the femoral artery and the groin. So just so you're aware, you're looking at the left thigh or the left groin area here. But look at this muscle called the sartorius. The majority of the femoral artery is actually covered up by this sartorius muscle. And you can see the femoral artery continuing all the way down. And it's wrapped in the sheath where you'd also see the femoral vein and some other structures. But if I put it back in more of that anatomical position, the upper portion or superior aspect of the femoral artery is exposed in this triangular region that we refer to as the femoral triangle. The borders of the femoral triangle are made by the inguinal ligament. Think somebody who has really defined abs, that line that's kind of diagonal in the lower abdomen. And then it's also formed by the sartorius and then this muscle called the adductor longus. But the reason I'm showing you this area where the femoral artery is exposed is that this is very important or relevant for medical procedures because you can insert a catheter into the femoral artery, take it up to the aorta and perform procedures on the heart without actually having to bust open the chest to work on the heart. So thank goodness for cool technology and catheters and this relationship in the femoral triangle and the femoral artery.